With the university vaccine mandates, we are starting to see the pushback in the form of lawsuits. The soccer players from Western Michigan claim the vaccine violates their religious freedom using a Bible passage to help back their argument that human bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and should be treated as such. A big win, at least for now, when it comes to the Western Michigan soccer players who sued the university over its vaccine mandate. This may be the first case uh, around the country where a court has blocked a mandated vaccine for athletes. So we're very pleased with the decision and we'll just see where it goes from here. The four athletes refused the COVID-19 vaccine based on religious reasons. Western Michigan University said that wasn't good enough and if they didn't get vaccinated, the senior soccer players would be kicked off the team. The women filed a lawsuit this week against Western Michigan, its president and athletic director claiming a violation of their First Amendment rights and discrimination based on religion. A lot of people get confused with this. They think it has to be some sort of a, an approval from a church or a denomination or a pastor or something like that, and that's not true. Federal Judge Paul Maloney at this point agreed with the athletes issuing a temporary restraining order which stops the soccer players from being kicked off the team until the court decides whether Western can force them to get the vaccine. Our clients are very thrilled. They're very happy. They're allowed to continue to play and participate, be at practices, be with their teammates and all of that until we get to court at the end of next week. But the same federal judge didn't feel Gina Norris, the administrative assistant who is suing Michigan State University because of its vaccine mandate, presented a strong enough argument. Norris claimed the vaccine requirement violated her right to privacy, and because she has natural immunity or antibodies from having COVID, the vaccine was not medically necessary. The judge felt they couldn't show irreparable harm, which means MSU's vaccine mandate stays in place. She is right. technically uh, supposed to get the vaccine by the end of the day today, so she faces disciplinary action um, if she does not. Um, we And that the judge's denial of the TRO basically uh, means that, you know, there's no guarantee. Her attorney, Janine Yunus of the new Civil Liberties Alliance, says Norris is still waiting to see if she will lose her job for refusing to get vaccinated. Both cases expected to be back in front of Judge Maloney later this month, but we're told the results of the cases could have a countrywide impact and change how the COVID vaccine is mandated. We're hoping that once the judge has an opportunity to read all of the science um, and look at everything we've presented, that he will reach a different conclusion. Now, unlike MSU, Western Michigan does not have a school-wide vaccine mandate. Now they just have mandatory testing for unvaccinated students and staff. Huel. So, Taryn, both cases are expected back before the judge, but that's just another step in the long legal process. It is, and now the judge will decide whether to issue a preliminary injunction, which would allow the mandates to put the mandates on hold until the cases are heard and a final decision is made. That could be months. It could be a year but it will make a really a big decision for a lot of people in the end. But very complicated too. All right, Taryn, thank you.